Okay, so I said I was going to show off this device that I've been built. Not a device, but it's more of a testing station. Some people call it a super gun. Basically what it is is arcade operators back in the day used to build these little rigs with a spare monitor and PCB boards to test uh, their boards to see if they were working and test all the buttons. Um, so out of some spare parts I had laying around, I bought a cheap monitor, 19-inch, on eBay for like 100 bucks, 125 bucks, shipped to the house, which is a good deal. The picture's great on it. Um, I'll show you what I did. Basically, it's pretty simple. The monitor, you know, just your standard chassis. Um, it's got your red, green, blue ground and sync wire right here. Um, and then your additional power wires right here that plug in, as you can see, into the monitor. And that leads to the isolation transformer and then to the power supply. And then I wired up a little speaker in the back there so when you um, put different boards in, you can actually hear the volume or uh, hear the sounds of the game. I haven't wired up all the connectors yet, as you can see there right here, uh, but there's the edge connector right there and a PCB. So I've tried it already, so I know it works, but I'll show you guys. I'll just plug it in. I don't have an on-off switch. You just got to plug it in, so be patient for a second here, and I'll plug it in. Power supply is an old one, so you can kind of hear it rattling, but there you go. Pretty good picture for a 19 inch. So I'll kind of pull away here and you can see all the power wires, grounding wires, isolation transformer like I said, and the speaker. And these are, this is just a standard JAMA connector, edge connector that you can only put on one way. This is an old golden, uh, golden T99 board. And like I said, an old monitor. So um, I have a bunch of old boards that I haven't tested in a while. I have a Killer Instinct board inside that I wanted to make sure this thing was working before I plugged it in because they're obviously expensive and worth some money so I'm going to test that next to make sure it is but I'm going to wire up some buttons I have this old thing up here I don't know if you guys remember that but it was called Ghetto Mame <laughs> it spurred a couple of other people to build similar devices I'm going to hook up the buttons to these here so I can test out the boards and make sure the button well, I don't really test them but just for fun just give me something to do out here in the garage with this other stuff but just wanted to show that off, a super gun as some people call it, or a um, JAMA testing rig. Very simple. You need a monitor, isolation transformer if the monitor requires it, a speaker if you want to listen to the game, power supply, JAMA harness, and a couple of PCBs and you can have some fun. That's pretty much the internal workings of an arcade cabinet right there for the most part. Obviously no coin acceptors and marquee light and all that stuff, but all the wires are here. All these wires lead to the buttons. Um, some of them lead to the speakers, as you can see, are hooked up there. Um, coin acceptors and all that stuff there. So that was pretty cool. Like I said, for 100 bucks, got a monitor, and I have a bunch of boards, and I thought it'd be interesting to do this. And I've always seen these on the videos of guys that run arcades. And then when you look at boards on eBay, there's guys that have pictures of their monitors with the board up and running. And I wanted to do this since I have a lot of boards that I don't want to get rid of, but um, if I ever want to sell them, I can actually prove that they're working before I ship them out so that's it hope you guys enjoyed it we'll uh, we'll see you next time around